Good morning. In this box, in my hands, we have the predecessor to the Air Jordan 1, the Nike Air Ship. As we always do on the David Jr. channel, we bring the box up close and we try and open it with one hand. <laughs> thank you BSTN for the pair. I will have to blur that word out, but <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> that is a very cool green Nike shoe box. Right, let's open it. Let us see what the airship has to say. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am a big fan of this straight out the box. Wow. The Nike Airship. <laughs> right, let's put the box up here for the video. Perfect. <laughs> right. Quick history lesson. 1984. The Airship made its debut with the classic black and red colorway which is now more commonly known as the bread colorway. However, the NBA quickly banned the sneaker in 1985 after only a few months since its initial release. And this was all detailed in a formal letter and later on revealed that the reason it was banned was because there wasn't enough white in the sneaker. What? <laughs> and then they explained that there wasn't enough white in the sneaker which would help best represent the Chicago Bulls team's colors. And then on top of that, every time Michael Jordan would then go on to wear the now dubbed band colorway, the NBA would fine him $5,000 each time he stepped on the court with them, which is wild for just something so trivial and that wasn't an issue is mind blowing. However, this did play into Nike's hands with their incredibly smart marketing as they were more than happy to pay these $5,000 worth of fines as it was helping push the rebellious fad back in the day which would for some reason resonate with a lot of younger kids back then which in turn would help sell the upcoming Air Jordan 1 which would then go on to release in 1985 building up the hype and the interest of the new sneaker coming out with the Air Jordan 1 using the whole situation with the airships in their favor you have to tip your hats off to Nike and Jordan brand because that is incredibly intuitive and quick thinking to use a situation like that to help market your next sneaker history lesson is over <laughs> I hope that was cool to listen to I find it quite interesting to know certain things about sneakers and that story and the history behind the airships and everything to do with it getting banned with the black and red colorway and the fine and how it introduced the Air Jordan 1. It's just very interesting to know and I hope all of you at home watching found that just as interesting as well. Fast forward from 1984 to 2023 the retail price is now £130, which is a fair price. Uh, uh, you know, I'm fine with that. I do wish it was a little bit lower just to help save some money, but I can justify spending a £130 on this sneaker 100%. And what makes it even better is that this sneaker is still available on so many places, both online and in store. So if you are contemplating whether or not to get a pair, I would say get one go in store online, try it on, see how it feels. If it's comfortable, if it looks good to you, I definitely pick this up. And I love that they're still available because it allows everyone who wants a pair to wear it and just to have it in their collection, the ability to have the sneaker, which in today's sneaker culture is very hard to come by. So to again, have this available online and in store in every single size, for the quality and the history that this sneaker holds, yeah, it, it, it's, it to me it's a no-brainer. Now if memory serves me correctly with all of this sneaker knowledge that I'm trying to compile in my brain, the airship so far that we have seen, in 2020 we have seen the release of the band bread colorway as well as a white and red colorway as part of the New Beginnings pack and then fast forward to 2022 there was the blue colorway, which was an Arma Manier exclusive to a limited 2,300 pairs only, which still confuses me as to why the blue version was an Arma Manier collab in the first place, but then 
why it was limited to so little pairs. It, I, I don't know, it just, whatever. <laughs> and then as well as the orange colorway, which was an Italy boutique exclusive, which again, I don't really understand why the orange colorway was another exclusive, but yeah, we move. <laughs> And then now in 2023, we have the University Gold colorway, as well as the Pine Green colorway, which is in my hands right now. And then later on in the year, there are a few rumored pairs to come out. I do believe I have seen a neutral gray colorway pair, which does look very nice, as well as a white and black colorway, which I don't know why, but again, it is rumored to be an Armand Meunier collaboration again. So I, I'm kind of already just moved on from that pair because if it's gonna be limited to around 2,300 pairs again, for no real reason, uh, yeah, I, whatever. And then just last night, another pair has been revealed and confirmed by the collaborator himself, the Nigel Sylvester collaboration on the Nike Airship, which already I love the hit of the bike air on the back. I love that pun, it looks incredible. I will for sure try and get that pair because I love puns, yeah. What, what can I say? I'm, I'm a British person who likes puns, sue me. <laughs> And Nigel Sylvester is an American professional BMX athlete, which is very cool. And I'm very excited that he is collaborating with Nike and Jordan brand again. I do believe he has had an SB Dunk High and of course his Air Jordan 1 High. And to see him collaborate on the Airship after getting my pair in hand and genuinely this is a very high quality and a very well put together shoe. This sneaker really has outdone my expectations. So seeing that rumor yesterday and him confirming it on his instagram yeah i didn't think i was going to get another airship after the pine greens but that nigel sylvester i hope hopefully that's coming home because i would love that <laughs> and with that all being said cheers for stopping by and in case i don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night you said real sweat it's real sweat i'm a high performance athlete um, athlete sweat sweat baby Kiki, sweat, sweat. <laughs>